In this video, you are going to learn five common reasons why weight loss is usually more difficult for women than men. But you are also going to learn five things you can do to ensure that you lose weight and burn fat. My name is Dr. Tolu. I'm a medical doctor, medical content creator, and my videos on weight loss have been watched by hundreds of thousands of people. So guys, let's get straight into it. Number one on my list is women have less muscle mass. The truth is that typically women have less muscle mass and more body fat than their male counterparts. And the reason why this might make it more difficult for women to burn calories and lose weight is because the more muscle an individual has, the more they are able to burn calories even at rest. This is what we call basic metabolic rate. And for women, theirs are usually lower than those of their male counterparts. Number two, hormones, hormones, hormones. You may start to wonder, is it only women that have hormones? But that's not the case. Men and women have hormones. The difference is that women have a higher level of a particular hormone called estrogen. Estrogen is one hormone that promotes fat storage, especially in the hips, the thighs, and the buttocks. And that's why you find that in women, fat distribution very slightly from what you would find in their male counterparts. While men are more likely to store fat somewhere in the abdomen, women are more likely to store fat in their hips, in their thighs, and their buttocks. Now, the reason why women store fat in this part of the body is for reproductive purposes. It's believed that this is an evolutionary adaptation, meaning that women store fat in these parts of the body in order to provide energy that they need to handle the rigors of pregnancy. Also, hormonal fluctuations that happen during the menstrual cycle, during pregnancy, during menopause can affect appetite cravings and ultimately fat storage. You also have to realize that health issues that affect hormone levels like polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, or thyroid problems can also affect fat storage. And since we're already on the topic of fat distribution, let's make that number three, fat distribution. We've talked about how fat in women is distributed in a different way than in men. But one thing that is also important to know is that the fat that is stored in the hips, in the buttocks and in the thighs are actually harder to burn than fat stored in the abdominal region. I remember that we said that men are more likely to store fat in the abdominal region while women are more likely to store fat in their hips, thighs and buttocks. So what this means is that if a man and a woman who have stored fat but in their different respective ways do the same exercise routine, the man is going to find it easier to burn fat in the abdomen than the woman will find it to burn fat in her hips, thighs and buttocks. Hey, I'm not the one that made the rules, that's just the way it is. Number four, calorie needs. Now remember when I talked about basal metabolic rate, that is the rate at which calories are burned while at rest. Now women generally have a lower basal or basic metabolic rate, BMR, than men. And this is because of differences in body size and basically because men have more muscle mass than women. Because women have this lower BMR, it means that they generally need lesser calories than their male counterparts. And it also means that they have less room or margin for error when it comes to their calorie intake. Now, if you are here and you want to learn more about calories or you don't even know what calories are, please click on the link appearing in the top hand corner of this video. There I talk about calories, everything you need to know about calories and how to use a good knowledge of calories to lose weight and burn fat. Number five, the impact of dietary restriction. The research suggests that women's bodies will be more sensitive to calorie restriction. So if a woman decides to restrict her daily calorie intake, let's say she decides to maybe starve herself, which I would not recommend, or severely restrict her calorie intake, this might actually backfire. It may ultimately lead to a slowing down in her metabolism. Remember when we talked about BMR, basal metabolic rate? So starving or restricting food intake might lower the BMR even further, which would make it even more difficult for the woman to lose weight. And this would explain why you find some women who maybe have decided to eat just once in a day, but they find that they are still gaining weight because this severe restriction can further lower your ability to burn calories even while at rest and that can ultimately lead to more weight gain. So your best bet really is not to severely restrict your calorie intake, but by measuring it, making sure that you are eating 
properly but you are also eating in a calorie deficit now guys i hope you found this video useful so far if you have please hit the subscribe button because it's one way that i know you find all these educative videos very useful we've talked about the problems let's now talk about the solutions five things that you can do to ensure that you lose weight effectively number one your nutrition make sure that when you are consuming foods and drinks you are doing so in a calorie deficit what this basically means you are taking in less calories than you need for your current body weight on a regular basis number two physical exercise and i'm going to zoom in on resistance training or strength training it's important for women to carry out exercises that help them to build muscles by building muscles you are increasing your muscle mass and that can even help to increase your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, which can mean that you burn calories more efficiently and you burn even more calories than women who don't lift weights and build muscle. Number three, pay attention to your hormones. It is very important. If you have any health condition that maybe affects um, your hormonal balance like PCOS or like I mentioned thyroid conditions, please get appropriate treatment. Also, if you are on hormonal contraceptives, you have to factor this in as well. Or if you are on any medication that can affect your hormone balance, please have a conversation with your healthcare provider so that they can advise you on how to navigate this because you may not be able to do it all on your own. Number four, increase your protein intake. Proteins are the building blocks of life. Proteins help you to build more muscle mass. Proteins also help you to feel fuller for longer, which can ultimately help in your weight loss journey. So guys, remember proteins are your friend. And number five, this one, people don't talk about it enough, get good quality sleep. As an adult, you should be getting nothing less than seven hours of sleep each night and not just sleep that is maybe interrupted you're waking up sleeping multiple times all through the night that's not good quality sleep you need good quality sleep where you get into sleep and then you stay asleep for most of the night if you're having difficulties with your sleep please see your healthcare provider so that you can have this sorted out because if you don't sleep well it will be very difficult for you to burn fat and lose weight that's just the truth Thank you for watching this video up to the end. You are my real people, those of you who are still here. And to let me know that you, my true people, have brought this video up until this point, just comment, let's go, in the comment section so that I know that you're fired up to finally burn fat, lose weight, and achieve your weight loss goals. Until we meet again, take care.